Hey everyone. Some of you may have seen these clips already. I put them in a compilation video, but it was two hours long and some of you complained. Apparently you like short things. I was always told bigger is better, but hey, to each his own. So for those of you who enjoy the shorties, I'm gonna break this up and let's go to court. All right, I see uh, Victoria Dort is here. Can you hear me, ma'am? I know you're muted right now, but yes, I can. Okay. Oops, I can All right, and Mr. Roll, Christopher Roll, can you hear me, sir? You're muted as well, but I just want to make sure you can hear. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay. I can hear you now. Yeah. Okay. All right. And Mr. Johnson, obviously you're here from DHHS. Um, and I'm not saying he needs to be here. Is Mr. Sommerfeld here? No, he's not here today. Okay, and that's fine. We can go ahead with this. Um, could you raise your right hand, please? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give in this matter will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so I hope you got it? I do. All right. Um, what I'm going to indicate to Ms. Dort and Mr. Roll, I'm going to have Mr. Johnson just start with a little bit before he goes into the bulk of things. Um, I'll have some questions for you, but Mr. Johnson, you uh, work for Department of Health and Human Services here in Otsego County, is that correct? That's correct. And you, your agency filed a petition with this court um, concerning Genevieve? Correct. Genevieve will be the role, all right. And how old is Genevieve? Yeah. Uh, she is two years old. All right. Um, there's other children as well. Well, let me ask you this. What are you seeking at this point? I'll, we'll go through the petition in a minute, but what are you ultimately asking? We're all, we are we are requesting that we remove Genevieve Roll from the care of Victoria Dor and Christopher Roll. Okay. Are, and I note in the petition there are other children. Are they in that household as well? They are not. They are with their biological fathers. They have full custody through front of the court. All right. And Ms. Dort and Mr. Roll are the mother and father of uh, Genevieve? Gwen, yep. Okay. All right. All right. Um, so I'm going to have these questions for you, um, Ms. Dort and Mr. Roll, but and this is what's called an inquiry hearing. This is a child protective proceedings. It is not a criminal procedure. You do have certain rights I'm going to go through. You both have the same rights. You have the right to an attorney. One will be appointed for you. It will be a separate attorney, one for Ms. Dort, one for Mr. Roll. Um, there will also be an attorney appointed to represent Genevieve um, in this matter. This is simply an inquiry hearing, and uh, Mr. Johnson is asking for a removal portion of it. And we won't go too far in this hearing because there isn't an attorney here to represent you, but I do have to address the removal portion first. Um, so, Ms. Dort, have you received a copy of the petition that Department of Health and Human Services has filed? Yes. All right. Have you read it? Yes. If you wanted me to, I would read it to you now. If you say, no, I've read it and I've understand it, that's fine. I believe I understand okay. the majority. Right. And, and you'll if I do have be... questions, I can reach out and ask. And your attorney, and your, you know, basically the reason I'd be reading it is to make sure you understand it, not necessarily whether you agree with it or not. That's not what this hearing is about, but and just that you understand it. Some questions you'll have, I couldn't answer because I can't give legal advice, but you'd be able to talk to your attorney on. Okay. All right. Um, Mr. Roll, um, you would agree you are the father of Genevieve? Yes. All right. Um, do you have a copy of the petition? I do. Have you read it? Uh, I have, and I understand it. You want me to read it to you or not? No, no, I understand. Okay, all right. And once again, you can discuss if you have specific questions, you can discuss those with your attorney. We'll be telling you when the next hearing date on this is at near the end of the hearing. But Mr. Johnson, could you indicate to the court 
why you are seeking removal and what um, efforts have been made by um, the agency or otherwise to prevent the removal of Genevieve. Yep. <clears throat> so the department filed a petition for removal, removing Genevieve from Victoria and Christopher yesterday um, due to reoccurring alcohol use and domestic violence. Um, so we first got involved with Victoria and Chris in December of 2023. Um, that was the first complaint regarding the alcohol use and domestic violence in front of the children. Um, that was opened as a CPS ongoing case. Um, ongoing services were provided. Um, and then in, I believe it was April of 2024, we received another complaint, another CPS investigation regarding Victoria and Christopher regarding the same alcohol use and domestic violence. Um, in that case, Christopher was arrested for domestic violence. Um, we had an ongoing case. I believe we closed early August. I think it was August 15th. Um, and then as of yesterday, we received a new CPS complaint regarding alcohol use and domestic violence in front of the children between Victoria and Christopher. Um, so yesterday we filed a petition removing um, Genevieve from the care of Victoria and Christopher um, due to the domestic violence and then um, their substance use with alcohol use. All right, and where is Genevieve now? Uh, she's placed at a local foster home. Okay, all right. And, you know, beyond the ongoing investigation of the police involvement uh, that there's been in this, have there been any other services that have been provided to either or both parents? Yes, um, Victoria participated in an inpatient rehab facility. I think it's New Hope. Um, she also worked with Catholic Human Services for outpatient substance use. Um, she attended AA services. Um, she worked with the Women's Resource Center. Um, and Christopher worked with Second Chance um, individual and group sessions for counseling. All right. Um, I'm not familiar with Second Chance. Is that an alcohol or substance abuse rehabilitation place? Uh, I believe it, it it covers group sessions and individual counseling. I think it covers a little bit of everything. Okay, but it does deal with substance abuse and alcohol, at least as yep. part of it. Is that Okay. All right. All right. Well, um, Ms. Dort and Mr. Roll, this is what's called a removal hearing. It is not the inquiry hearing, or it's a, it's a part of the inquiry hearing, but it, I can't complete the inquiry hearing until your attorney is here. I have hearings on these things fairly quickly. I'm going to ask Ms. Huff, who's the juvenile registrar, can we have a hearing on this? Tuesday. All right. Okay. There will be a hearing scheduled on this on September 17th. We will talk about parenting time between Genevieve and you in a minute. Um, and I'll hear what Mr. Johnson is proposing, but I've been asked uh, for the removal and I'm not here to say whether or not the alcohol use and domestic violence occurred or didn't occur, that's not the time for this. Um, but as to the removal, Ms. Dort, is there anything you wanted to say at this point? Um, no, I agree. I do agree with the removal and I appreciate CPS because right. they're there for a reason, <laughs> you know. For sure, so. okay. All right, that's fine. And I don't want you to go into the details, but the fact that you agree, uh, I, I appreciate hearing that. Mr. Roll, do you have any statements you wanted to make at this point? No, I understand why. I agree with it, but I understand why. Okay. All right. Uh, the, the court does find it would be contrary to Genevieve's welfare to remain in the home and will order um, the removal. I do find that is outlined by Mr. Johnson as to both parents there have been reasonable efforts to prevent the removal, including ongoing um, CPS cases, uh, law enforcement involvement, Catholic Human Services, um, inpatient treatment, AA, Women's Resource Center, and, and Second Chance, another rehabilitation place. Um, so the court will order that. Mr. Johnson, um, as to parenting time between now and the 17th, uh, which we're looking at about two and a half weeks, I can address parenting time again on the 17th if necessary, but what is your proposal between now and then? 
So I will be in touch with both Victoria and Christopher. Uh, we'll schedule parenting time within the next seven days. All right. Um, do you believe, Mr. Johnson, do you believe that they could have that parenting time together or should it be one for Ms. Dort and another? For it, will, it would have to be separate due to the, the domestic violence. Sure. All right. Okay. Um, and so I'm going to order that, um, that that take place. I will review it again on the 17th. And you can talk to Mr. Johnson between now and then. You could also talk to your attorneys. Usually we're able to come up with an agreement, but if not, you know, I can make a decision if um, you think it should be more and they should think it should be less. Uh, but so you understand though that it would be separate, Ms. Dort, your time would be your time with Genevieve. Mr. Roll, your time would be your time um, yes. with Genevieve. Okay. I have their attorneys yeah. assigned if they want their information. Okay. Um, we know who your attorneys will be. And if you have that, uh, they're not going to know anything about the case because they would not have received it yet. But we'll give you their name and telephone number if you each have a pen and paper ready. And remember, it'll be separate numbers or separate attorneys. Yes. So go ahead. Uh, Christopher's is going to be Larry Brown. All right. Mr. Roll, yours is Larry Brown. And his oh, telephone okay. number is 517 398. 3188. 3188. 3188 are the last four digits. Thank you. Mr. Delaney. All right. And David Delaney would be your attorney, Ms. Dort. And actually, I don't have 989. 989. 731-1508. All right, thank you. All right, so if you both have those, once again, they're not going to know anything about the case yet at this point, but we'll be sending out paperwork and you can still call them um, and leave a message and we'll see where we are. Um, I want to once again stress that this is not a criminal case. It is a child protective proceedings. Uh, also yeah. that the HHS is not seeking termination of parental rights. They're seeking reunification. Are the two of you still acting as a couple or not? And it doesn't matter to me. I'm just we have curious. been. Um, we have been. And if you're not, if you're not sure, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to put you on the spot. Let me do. We can talk about that later. But that would really have to deal with reunification if we're at that point. So. But the okay. whole idea is if there is a problem to get assistance in resolving the problem, once again, it's a child protective proceeding. It's not okay. a criminal case. Okay, all right. And I've discussed your rights with you. You do have an additional right that attaches with the removal order that I am signing today. You have the right to appeal um, this, even this order today. And if you wish to appeal it, you could. Um, the if you could contact the probate or the juvenile registrar would get you the information on that. If you could not afford an attorney for the appeal, one would be appointed for you. If you could not afford transcripts or other documents, copies of those would be provided to you free of charge. I'm just advising you of that. I'm not saying you should or shouldn't do that. You can also discuss that with your attorneys if you wanted to. Ms. Dort, do you have any questions? I do not. Mr. Roll, do you have any questions? I'm, I'm sorry. Um, my hear. only question is, is, can you hear me? Go ahead. Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. The okay, only issue, uh, I believe Larry Brown represented Victoria in the first domestic violence. I don't know if that'll make a difference here. Was, were you charged with domestic violence, Ms. Dort? No. She was not. You, were you charged with domestic violence, Mr. Roll? Yes, I. Okay, and was Mr. Was Mr. Brown your attorney? No, it was Gary Gilo. I I okay. I thought Victoria had told me that Larry well, Brown. She would not have him. had. She would not have had an attorney in that. Has Mr. Brown, to your knowledge, Ms. Dort, ever represented you on anything? Um, when I had an OWI last June or two Junes okay. ago. 
Well, just to be on the safe side, I don't anticipate any problem, but I'm just going to right. change the two attorneys because they don't have any knowledge of this case whatsoever. Mr. Delaney will represent um, you, Ms. Dort, and Mr. I'm sorry, Mr. Delaney. Okay, would represent Mr. Delaney will represent Christopher Roll. Yeah, okay. Larry Brown will yours will be um, Mr. Roll. Yours will be Mr. Delaney. Um, Ms. Dort, yours will be Mr. Brown. You guys probably need those numbers again. Yes, please. <laughs> All right. Yes, and please. so, ma'am, Larry Brown's number is 517-398-3188. All right. Thank you. And if you could give Mr. Roll, Mr. Delaney's number. Okay. Mr. Roll, Mr. De David Delaney's number is 989-731. 1508. Okay. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Anything else? Not at this time. Okay. Thank you very much. We'll see folks on the 17th. Thank you. Um, do you we have, hold on one more second. Do we have, do you have addresses for them? Um, no, for her I do, for him I do. Okay, um, sir, what is your address that we should use for mailing purposes? Mm -hmm.